This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Carson versus Carson. You all have known each other more than 20 years, have been married five years. You've been through all types of life-changing events. But, Ms. Carson, you say if he's found to be cheating, you have another life-changing event coming. Divorce. Tell me about your case. If my husband is cheating on me, I'm going to take my dogs in my car and I'm, I'm going to leave. Mm. I can't mm -hmm. do it no more. I've uh, given him every opportunity to tell me the truth. And it's just not happening? No. What do those tears represent? The love, the, 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 the love, the energy that I put into this marriage. He's my first love. I've never loved anybody else. Wow. Mr. Carson. Yes, Your Honor. When you look at her and you see the emotion that she has, how she feels about you in this relationship and how she's hurting, what do you have to say about that? That's not the woman I married. It's just not. She's not the woman you... No. What do you mean? No. The person I married, I loved all my life. You know what I mean? Didn't love her because of what she represented. I loved her because of who she was. She's changed. But she's changed because she thinks you're cheating on her. I've never cheated on my wife. That's and what you're telling us today. I've never cheated on my wife. That's what you're telling her today. That's what I'm telling her. I've never cheated on my wife. What was it about her that you liked when you met her? She was herself. Just, just a person that I didn't have to be nobody but myself. I didn't have to change. I didn't have to pretend. I didn't have to act. I didn't have to do no certain things. I just had to be me. And she accepted that. The life I'm living today, everything is bottled up. It's bottled up. And it's today, the court comes off. So, Ms. Carson, how long were you together before you got married? Two years. Two years. Who proposed to who? Me. <laughs> oh! You did well, the proposal. He was divorced. He was still married legally. I said I would pay for the divorce. He got divorced in October. And then I said, you know, I want to be married by the time I go into surgery in March. Because I wanted somebody to be able to make decisions. Okay, so you all got married before your surgery. Yes. Mm -hmm. All but, right. But, so, Your Honor, but... Hold on, Mr. Hold Carson. On. <laughs> Mr. Carson. Go ahead, Mr. Carson. You laughing oh, and rubbing sorry. Hey, hey, look. This is it. She had the surgery. She had the surgery to change from man to woman. So she had a sex change sex operation. Sex change operation. Yeah. All right. So the surgery came. She felt uncomfortable. She was second guessing that she should have had the surgery. She asked, that has nothing she to do asked with me. It. She asked me. That, that doesn't have asked anything me, to do with it. Do you want me to have the surgery still? Okay, wait, and wait. I wait. said yes. Here's my question Are you saying that because of the surgery, she stopped trusting you? No, she, she didn't stop trusting me. She started thinking differently. I gotta go to Ms. Carson. Okay, so Ms. Me... Carson, did the sex change operation change your relationship with Mr. Carson? No, no. Okay, so he's saying that after the surgery, you were different. What has happened, from your point of view, to cause you to be here? Okay, what's caused me to be here is, one, I went to the hospital. I was okay. in the emergency room. They admitted me. Okay. He came one time, okay? One time to the ER, and then one time to, when they transfer me to the hospital. Yeah, Finally, get out I get out, and I go home. He's not nowhere to be found, OK? So he comes home. I go through his phone, go to the Google app, voice. Him and a girl are looking for an address to a motel in Long Beach. <laughs> OK, wait a minute. What woman is this? I don't know. One of the hoes he was messing with. Okay, so you are in Long Beach with another woman, not Mr. One, Carson? Not one. Oh. With other women, Mr. Okay. Carson? You want to go? Mr. Yeah, Carson. Mr. Carson. Okay, let's let's let me. Pop, let me pop, we're gonna pop. go. Let's okay, pop, hold, on, pop, hold, pop. hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, pop. Mr. Car Mr. Carson, listen to me. Listen to me. I want you to talk. I want you to talk. I want to hear this. I want to hear why she thinks you were in Long Beach with another woman. I want he you told to tell me. Women. Women. He told me. Okay, he came clean. Okay, let me, let me explain. Okay, so... I lied to her. I told her I slept with her because if I tell her I didn't sleep with her, she's going to keep asking me. Okay, so, so I, I told her... To, let me explain something to you. I told her before... I told her before I slept with someone... Okay, that I never you. slept with, and she rolled me to death about it. Cutler. You got to live color, the color, life I'm living. Hold on. Cutler. Because what he's saying... Wait, 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 wait. Let me make sure I understood it. Yeah, you heard him right. 
<laughs> Ron, you correct me if I'm wrong, too. Good Did he just say he admitted to sleeping with somebody just to shut her up? Is that what he said? That's okay, right. Okay, okay does that make any sense to you? Wait a minute, I'm gonna make sense Hold to on. you. Hold on. I'm asking you. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, I have seen, you know, cases in this courtroom where somebody has said, well, I just said that to shut her up. It never works. That's the thing. So, Mr. Carson, let's make sure we have our record straight. Did you sleep with a woman in Long Beach that she thinks you slept with? Yes no. or no? No, Your Honor. You did not? No, I okay. did not. I definitely didn't sleep with her. Thank you. Okay. Ms. Carson, have you found anything that makes you think he's cheating? Yes. What have you found? Okay, well, for example, he's on dating websites. Oh! oh. Okay, so you have evidence with you today, right? I do, right here. Ron, would Ron. you grab that for yes, us, please? Yes, So you saw him on a dating site. Yeah. And... Where his picture is, it says, I'm only looking for blank buddy. Yeah. Hey, and hey, then the next did page... Did he get her attention? Hold on, did hold on. Did he get her oh attention? Oh, my God. Did he get her attention? Hold on, Mr. Carson. How many sites do you have? Give him all oh, of them. Mr. Carson. Then on the next page about me, it says, I am down for almost anything. Yep. And then gender, man, I'm seeking a woman, city yep. of Las Vegas. Mr. Carson, this was on your dating website profile. That's just that's, one of them, That's Your just, Honor. That, matter of fact, that is just one of them, because, th see, that's in Las Vegas, that's recent. Ooh. There are some from El Monte, California. You know, we can go on back, you know, to when she had this surgery, when these okay. sites started popping up. All right. Let me say, if, if, if that didn't get her attention, why are we here? Because the bottom line is, all I wanted was my wife to pay attention. Ms. Carson, how did you get this? I, it came to his email, and I went to his email, and then what I do, once I knew he's on the site, I go on that site, put in his email, get a new password to get into the account to that site. And when you did that, this is what you that's found. Popped up. That is yeah. a lot of work to get to oh, this. Oh, girl. That's every day. Yeah, that's nothing. That's an everyday job. She, <laughs> hey, she worked every day on my phone. Listen. Not me, no more. Hey, listen, Not no more I have it. Listen, Not I'm no Mr. More. Carson. Hey, what? Your testimony to this court is... I know. Yes, you did this, and, and this isn't the only one. Okay, no, no, and you know she got it. Ms. Carson. And Woo. I know she's getting them. All right, so I here's know. the thing. One of the things that would irritate me, because I'm looking at his picture, it's the same shirt he wore on your and engagement they, photo. I, so I, I, I might just, not be enough woman for him. So he know. just cut you off and put it on up there. Yeah. As a man, if your wife wakes up every day, and her only job is to make sure you stay in her sight. That's a problem. I'm the only man in my neighborhood that is stay around my wife 24-7. Only reason I get... I Maybe you're wife. the only one in your neighborhood that's given her a reason, and that's why we're oh, here. Let's go, to, let's go to this. Okay. Let's go to this, so, Because... Hold on, Ms. Carson. I'm done. I'm done talking. I'm because done here's the thing. I'm done talking. Because here's the Let's thing. Let's bring the lie detector test out here. Let's do whatever it needs to do. Because I'm telling you, after the day, you ain't gonna have to ask her if she's gonna leave me. But Mr. Carson. I'm gonna leave her. Listen, listen. I'm done. I'm done. All right, wait, Mr. wait. Mr. Carson, listen. Listen, I'm because... Done. Hold on, hold on. You I'm keep saying... No, 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 no. I'm done. Because I'm you, keep done. Say, you keep saying you're done, but you're talking. But you ain't listening. I am listening. Now, that's listen, you listen to me for a This is my courtroom. My name is the one that's down here. You listen to me. <laughs> yeah, now, what I'm telling you is, you talking about you haven't given her a reason. You admit to cheating, even though you said it was just to get her riled up. You admitted to it. You admit to being on multiple dating sites. What do you mean she doesn't have a reason to watch you 24-7? You're giving her every reason in the world to do that. OK. Hey, Your Honor, Your Honor, what about... I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning. He was gone. The car was gone. He came back at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I wish I never afternoon, came back. Totaled the car, OK? The police said, you know, he looked at the video, and he was driving. Have you seen the video? Was, no. And there was a girl in the car. OK, okay. stop. OK, stop. All right. Mr. Hey. Carson, were you in a car accident? I was in a car accident. That's a yes or no question. Were you in a car accident? If I'm going to do yes or no, it's going to be yes or no on both sides. Come on, man. I'm trying to answer your question and tell you the explanation. You, were you, you in a get, car accident? You don't get to make that decision. You were in a car accident, yes or no? Yes. OK, was there a woman in the car? No, no. There was no woman in the car? I, I'm 52. I've had fun. I've played games. I've never played a game with her. I'm tired. <laughs>
I'm tired of being a prisoner in my own home. You sit there and you say, well, that don't make sense. If you was in my shoes, it would make damn sense. Because every day I wake up, I live this. I live, I have to go within a radius of you where you can see me for you to be okay. If I get around the corner, I'm done. I do disappear. I disappear from home because I get tired. I get tired of being locked up and confined. I don't need a mother. I need a wife, a friend. What I had when I first met her, I have that now. Gone. Let me just say this to you. It is what it is. Mr. Carson, listen to me. We are often here as the court, not only for the person that's being, that is doing the accusing, but for the accused. You think we don't hear you, but we do. And we have to ask questions to get to what we know, because we aren't living in your house. We aren't prisoners with you. But your pain and what you're sharing with us right now is real. I feel all of it. I'm done. Now, the question is, the question is, Ms. Carson, at the end of this, have you heard your husband? I heard him. No, no, I didn't say, like, yeah, I know he's talking. No, I heard him. Did your heart hear him? I heard him. All right, love. Tell us what we got. We've got accusations of Mr. Carson cheating, and Mr. Carson is adamant that he is not cheating. He's sick and tired of being accused of cheating, and he is here to clear his name. And we absolutely have a family, a life, a marriage on the line. And for that reason, we have done a full and complete investigation. At this time, we would like to call licensed polygraph examiner Tommy Platt to determine, is he cheating? Right. <laughs> Uh, Would you state your credentials for the court record, please? Yes, ma'am. I have over 30 years' experience in the United States military and as a police officer. I have been a licensed polygraph examiner for 11 years and conducted nearly 3,000 examinations. All right. So, Mr. Platt, this first question is related to the woman... Mrs. Carson accused Mr. Carson of sleeping with in Long Beach. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. All right. So, he was asked, did you have sexual intercourse with anyone other than your wife the day Mrs. Carson heard you Googling for a motel? What was his response? He stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. You asked Mr. Carson, on the night that you wrecked your wife's car, did you have physical sexual contact with someone other than your wife? What was his response to that question? He stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. (laughs) Ms. Carson? You've heard the answers to these two questions. How are you feeling? I feel bad. What's going through your mind and your heart right now? That I accused him of it and he did, didn't do it. You need to tell him. I'm sorry, boo. I thought you did. I know. All right, we have, we have one more question. You asked Mr. Carson, since being married to your wife, have you had physical sexual contact with someone you met on a dating site? What was his response? He stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being deceptive. Mr. Carson? Have you... You you have physical sexual contact with someone you met on one of the dating sites. Came to that point, man, and she didn't hear me. Since being married to Ms. Carson? She know who she is. Who? I told her. Who? I told her, if you keep... Who? Keep accusing who me... Who is it? You keep accusing me... It? ...of cheating... Who was it? Hold on, Ms. Carson. When I Go cheat ahead. on you, you're going to know it. Who was It's going it? to be at our house. So when I had sex with this girl, I knew she was coming. So when she came and saw the girl there, she should have knew. I never had a woman in our house. He cheated. It ain't cheating when you tell you. I uh, told you. Did so now, okay, Mr. Carson, Mr. Carson, did you verbally you know, tell me? No. I'm, I don't care. I'm done with you. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I need you to step back over. Okay, 
You didn't never love me no way. You love yourself. <sighs> if Mr. you Carter, didn't love yourself, you'd be Carter, said, Here's what I'm gonna say. You said you were gonna be done. You done. Y'all done thrown wedding bands up and down my courtroom. I'm done. So y'all are done. So what I would say to you is, you all need counseling. Because this need... right... I'm not gonna... I'm I... done. You can put me out I if you want to. I'm done. Would you please shut I'm up? You can put me out. That's the problem with shut women. Shut up! It's the problem with women. They don't hear out. me. Thanks. Out! Out! Get out of my court. They don't hear me. Let's go. Just get out! Just keep going. Wow! Miss Carson, this was toxic. It ain't, it ain't healthy. Ain't nothing in this courtroom healthy. So what I would say to you is, talk to Dr. Jeff. See how he can help you manage this space. Because while you are angry right here, you all have been together a long time, and it's gonna take something from you. Go talk to him. And as we say in this courtroom, do not cheat yourself out of a happy, non-toxic relationship. Court is adjourned.